Genesis chapter 1, verse 6 through 8. And God, and God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters that were under the firmament from the waters that were above the firmament. And God called the firmament sky. And there was evening and there was morning the second day. All of this is about the firmament, which is this right here. Now we have this separation. We have a whole, remember I said superconscious mind is whole up here. Subconscious and conscious are whole down here. So it's not actually, there is no subconscious and conscious right now. It's just this is whole up here, this is whole right down here. That's not there. So we have one hole down here and one hole up here because God said, let there be a firmament. The word, the suffix mint means mind. Govern mint. Govern your mind. Entertainment. Entertain your mind. Keep your mind entertained. Uh, ailment. Any ailment is really an ail of your mind. All diseases, diseases, originate. The original cause, the root of it, begins within your mind. There's a mental, there's an ailment in your mind, your mental. And then it begins to express an emotional. If you still don't take care of it, it will physicalize into a dis-ease. You can take some medicine, which will take away the physical. You can go to therapy, which might help you with the emotional and a little bit of the mental. But unless you actually do something, you know, therapy can do this too. Unless you actually do something to root out the mental cause, then the ailment will remain. You know, uh, yeah, mint. Another one. Uh, enlightenment. Light is awareness, right? N in light in the mind. Enlightenment, bringing awareness into the mind. So, firm amend, amend means mind. Firm amend, being firm, bringing firmness to the mind. I mean, this is providing structure, it's making this structure more firm, more solid. The etymology of the word firmament means support. So, it's providing support. So we can see how firmament provides support or structure to the mind. Now we are getting the structure of the mind. The whole first week, we just broke all of this down, structure of the mind. It's, it's also being broken down in the creation story, the creation of all of this, of our whole entire existence and how we perceive it through the physical body, the soul, the, astral, the, 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 the uh, spirit, through the conscious, subconscious, superconscious minds, and the third dimension, the fourth dimension, the fifth dimension. Like as much as you can perceive what you can experience, everything is first being formed here, the structure, the foundation. I mean, if you want to build a building, you start with what? The structure, the foundation. So first you build the foundation, and then from the foundation, you can build the structure. Then after the structure is formed, then you can add the walls. Then you can add the piping. Then you can add the electric wires. You need the structure first. So. God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. Moved upon the face of the water. All of this was water. Life experience. In the midst. So, in the middle. In the midst. Midst, middle. God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. So, in the middle of all that can be experienced, within the middle of it, there is a firm support structure and let it divide the waters from the waters you have these upper waters and these lower waters so it's dividing experience here and experience here meaning this is whole on its own and this is whole on its own this is something of its own this is something of its own there's a divide that we're under the firmament from the water oh and god made the firmament and divided the waters that were under the firmament from the waters that were above the firmament. And God called the firmament sky. So the sky represents superconscious mind because that is the access into the superconscious mind. 
and there was evening and there was morning the second day. Ah, okay. So, evolution of consciousness. Time. After the first day, we've come full circle. We created, we created a structure here. Now, as far as structure, you know, because we're going over the structure of the mind, we completed one full cycle of structure. Now we're at the same point. We still have structure, but now it has evolved. The evolution of consciousness, it has evolved to a higher form. The second day, 